Hello the internet. It is Saturday the 21st of May 2016. I am in Manly, one of the premium beachside suburbs of Sydney. It's actually a bit of a ferry ride from the center of Sydney, but it's really beautiful out here. What am I doing in Manly? I am meeting the couple who found my message in a bottle. They found my message in a bottle number five, the one I set off from Barangaroo. They found it in Rose Bay. Now, this is the first time a message in a bottle's been found. I think it's pretty cool that someone found it. That's a real, a real full bred dingo. 100% dingo, no dog at all. Look at that. Dingo. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. But then answer me this, has he taken any babies? Uh, joggers only now, he's, given, he's given the babies up. The dingo's got my baby! <laughs> Stefan, how you going? Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> hey, um, I am standing out the front of the Hotel Stein on the beach side. Uh, I'm just about here getting a haircut and when I'm done, I'm calling you some beach office. No probs at all. Give me a call back. Okay, so you want me to stay then, yeah? Yeah, man, I'll just be right at the front. Okay, and all right, you drink a social for too long. <laughs> all, <laughs> all right, right. see you soon, man. Bye. Just getting a haircut. While I wait for Stefan to get his hair cut, I will do NSD. NSD this week is, again, Jeff Martin, but it's Jeff Martin in his other band, The Amada. This is a total coincidence. I have no say in my t-shirt pile, as you've seen. It's completely random. This shirt was next to, or next in line, from Jeff Martin. Now Jeff Martin and The Amada. Is it gonna be a tea party shirt I pull out next? Who knows? Anyway, Jeff Martin and The Amada, that's when he's not performing as Jeff Martin and he's not performing as the Tea Party. What the difference is, I'm not 100% certain. I've photographed him three times in the Amada. So let's have a look at some photos and then we'll meet Stefan and Anna. I wanna help her, I wanna hide her, wanna love her, but first I've gotta find her. She's been hiding, she's hiding undercover from the honor, the honor of the other. Yeah. Anna? Anna nice to meet you. All right. That's Man, crazy. This is awesome. These are the guys I was telling you about. Your life is crazy sometimes, right? All right. You're, you're German, right? Yeah, I'm German. And you're? Italian. Italian. Yeah. Right. Okay. Nice haircut, by the way. Yep. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you very much. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but <laughs> what were you guys doing when you found my, my, my okay, bottle? I, I was actually alone at this morning. We yeah. um, was in Rose Bay and we live in D.Y. So I was at a friend's place yeah. and having my morning coffee, basically. Right. Sitting at the beach, having a little walk and saying, wait, is it kind of waste or not? And I was seeing a bottle with a message in it and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So you, and you saw a bottle, but you saw a cap on it as well? Yeah, I saw a cap on it and I was like, oh, that's a message in it. And last time I found something like this was when I was 12 wow. on a lake. And actually the kid riding it at this time became a good friend of mine. You found two messages in a bottle. You yeah, found one before and the second one now, yeah. Far out, man. What, yeah. are the, what are the odds of that? I mean, yeah, well, and I was actually quite excited. I was like, okay, I opened this now. And then I thought, no, wait. I meet uh, Anna later at this day. Yeah. So we're seeing each other at the evening. I said, okay, I'll, I'll wait at least for that. And uh, so we opened it together. I destroyed the bottle when I opened it, obviously. Of course, yeah. But I still have a picture. It had a cork, didn't it? Like it yeah, I had there. a cork, but I mean... <laughs> Last I saw, that was on Barangaroo Headland when I put it into the bottle and threw it... I actually threw it into the water and then I watched the bottle pretty much go... For, for the next hour, it went the wrong way into Darling Harbour. <laughs> oh, okay. And I thought, this is going to go 100 metres and then it's going to you know, wash up uh -huh. on the shore. Yeah. Apparently, it ended up in Rose Bay, which is kind of, if you're not from Sydney, it's at least a few beaches away. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it means it went under the Harbour Bridge, which means it went for a scenic yeah. ride. Uh, was it on the shore or was it in the water when you saw it? No, no, it was on the shore already. On the shore, okay. What time of the day was it? Morning, 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 okay. morning coffee. I'm still trying to work out just where this bottle to, went. To and reconstruct, yeah. Yeah, so I put it in on Saturday and you found it on Tuesday. When were we seeing each other? Uh, no, we, we, we met on Friday evening. Yeah, so it was Friday. It was yeah. Friday. So it was Friday morning, so it was quite a, quite a few days. Yeah. That's five, five full days of floating around. I have to see, but there's also a lot of space in between. Like Shark Island. Is 
yeah. directly in front of yeah, Rose yeah. Bay and all this, so it has to be going on through all the harbor. Yeah. Double Bay, Rose Bay, this area kind of. The one that you found um, when you were 12, what was the distance that it traveled like? Was it a long? Um, this was in Germany, uh, close to Berlin, where I'm actually born. There's a kind of connection of different lakes. Right. I think there are 18 lakes that are all connected. Yeah. And it was maybe like traveling through four of these lakes. Wow. So this has made my day. Thank you so much for coming and meeting me, guys. It's really cool. I am still coming to terms with that. These two people found my message in a bottle. You saw it, you heard it. It's inspired me to continue with my message in a bottle. So I'm gonna keep going and doing them until more people find them, until more people find them from further distance because Barangaroo to Rose Bay isn't that far, but it was five days that thing was sitting in the waterfall, which is pretty remarkable. While I'm in Manly, there's gonna be some kind of sunset, not too good. I'm gonna take a walk that way. You know what I've got in here? Homebrew. Wow, we're gonna see penguins? Didn't expect to see penguins. Here, pengy, 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 pengy. No dogs with sticks on their heads. They're not allowed. Probably not gonna be the best sunset. Got a homebrew though. After that last one in the Blue Mountains that didn't work because of the bottle was cracked, I'm pretty keen to see if this one's a doozy. Perfect. So I've just finished my uh, sunset time lapse. Uh, sunset was decent, it wasn't, wasn't terrific, but it was good. Just met this gentleman here who does volunteer, volunteer cleaning of the beach work. Nice work, man. Thank you. Good, yeah. good job. Mainly I came down for the penguins tonight. Yeah, but that's what I was going to ask you about yeah. the, the penguins. Where, like, I didn't even know we had penguins in Sydney Harbour. We, well, the ones, if you want to see them, the best place is actually Manly Wharf. There's right on, on, the, a couple, on the ferry. A couple of couples live under the wharf on the west side. How and many, to how many tourists they, know that? Um, uh, quite a lot. Once I'm a local, start, I don't even know that. Once they start coming in and breeding, I've had up to 500 people there in the evening. Wow. Where are these penguins coming from? Are they... Are they They're around the harbour. If you go out in the harbour in a kayak or a, a paddleboard, certainly from here on through until December, there's a good chance you'll find them. I have never ever seen a penguin yeah. in this harbour. Yeah. It's going to be my goal for this year. Yeah. Wait a sec, we're already halfway through this year. There you go, you learn something every day. I thought I knew my own harbour, but man, what's your name? Phil. Phil, thank you so much for educating me and, cool. and good work on cleaning the More beach. More than welcome. Thanks, Phil. Okay, Cheers, You're mate. welcome. So that guy, Phil, mentioned there's penguins underneath the Manly Wharf, which is right here. I am actually walking on it, and underneath it would be down here. Under this little pole here, penguins. Over here, penguins. Three here and four down there. No, there's penguins. Penguins. Little baby penguins. Check them out. Don't get too close to the edge. There was three down here and four over there. It's my birthday, can I come back? Happy birthday. Hi. Thank you. Where's this going? On YouTube. All right. Hi. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. You want to see them as well? Oh, that's um, we're out of time. Hey, thanks a lot for checking out Gives A Minute, my YouTube channel, the one you just watched. If you liked it, perhaps you'd like to check out the previous minute, a random minute, or even the very first minute. And if you're feeling generous, do me a solid. Subscribe. If you're a photographer, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets and all the other social crap. That was a long pause. See ya.